Hi, this is MD Shabana Sultana, working as associate professor in Chebrol Engineering College, Chebrol. In the last lecture, I explained about the solar thermal energy, photovoltaic cell, and hydro power energy, that is a hydropower. And today, I want to discuss you about the geothermal energy. Geo means earth. Whatever the heat which comes from the earth, it is to be stored and it is converted into the electrical energy. Geothermal energy is the heat from the earth. It is a clean and sustainable. Resources of the geothermal energy range from shallow ground to hot water and hot rock found few miles beneath the earth's surface and deeper extremely high temperature, molten rocks called magma is present in the earth crust. The first geothermal electricity was produced in Italy in the year 1904. To produce the geothermal generated energy, wells sometime 1.6 kilometer deep or more are drilled into the groundwater, into the ground underground reservoirs to tap the steam and very hot water that drive the turbine. And the turbines drive electricity generators. There are actually Three types of geothermal power plants must be there. They are dry stream, flash, and binary. Actually, geothermal energy is a clean renewable resources that provides the energy around the world. It is considered as a renewable energy resource because the heat coming from the inside of the earth is essentially limitless. That's why the geothermal power plants must be constructed to store the heat, whatever comes from the earth's interior or the crust because in the earth's interior, due to the presence of the magma, that is a molten rock, which is less than the surrounding rock, it rises and heat the water contained in the rock pores and underground water. As a result, water becomes heat. And this is called the geothermal reservoir. Wells are drilled into this geothermal reservoir, the steam is released and supplied to the power plant. The force of the steam is used to rotate the turbine. The turbine power a generator and produce the electrical energy. Later, the steam is condensed and it is injected back into the geothermal reservoir. So the process is repeated again and again in a cyclic form to get the heat, whatever the heat which is generated from the underground of the water, Earth's interior, it is converted into electrical energy and it is sent to the substations for distribution. I already told you that there are three types of 
geothermal power plants, dry stream, flash, and the binary. Dry stream geothermal generator, it takes the steam out of the fractures into the ground. That means in the, in the ground, several fractures will be there, takes place. From that, the geothermal generator are taken and it is used it directly to drive the turbine. Next, flash geothermal plant, it pulls the deep, high pressure hot water into cooler, low pressure water. The steam that is produced is used to drive the turbine. The main basic motto in the geothermal power plants is to run the turbine. So we have to supply the energy, that is the heat energy, to drive the turbine so that whatever the heat we are supplying to drive the turbine, that turbine will take the heat energy and it is converted into electrical energy. And coming to the last, that is the binary geothermal plant, the hot water is passed by the secondary fluid with much lower boiling point than the water, producing the vapor of secondary fluid, which can drive it up. So most of the geothermal plants in the future will be binary plants. Geothermal plants have advantages over the thermal plants that, the advantage is that no fossil fuel is burned, no emission of carbon dioxide and other gases and conditions. So this is about the geothermal energy. Coming to the next power plant, which is known as tidal and water power. Tidal means the tidal power is also known as tidal energy. Is a form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from the tides into useful form of power, mainly the electricity. Tidal energy has a potential for future electricity generation. Tides are more predictable than wind energy. That means the tidal power is a natural power in tides at seas or oceans which is due to the motion of water. That is the waves in the sea, the sea, you know, that motion of the water, that waves, it causes the tides. So tides are defined as increase and decrease in the water level due to the motion of the water from one place to another place. This tidal energy is more costly and limitedly availability of sites. The first, the world first large scale power plant is a Rans tidal power plant, which is located in France. The ocean tides on the earth is ultimately why the Tides will be formed in the oceans means they are ultimately due to the gravitational interactions with the moon and the sun and the earth's rotation. So many of the people may think why the tides will be formed in the oceans. So this is the main reason. That is gravitational interactions with the 
moon and the sun and earth's rotation so tidal power is practically inexhaustible that means movement of the tides causes a loss of mechanical energy in the earth moon system due to pumping of the water through natural restrictions around the coastlines and consequent viscous dissipation of the seabed and turbulence that means the motion of the water contain large amount of the energy due to movement of the sun moon and earth related to each other and also due to their rotational moment this source of energy could be used to generate other types of energy that could be useful in industrial applications this loss of energy has caused the rotation of the earth to slow in 1.5 billion years since its formation due to the last 620 million years the period of rotation of the earth is slower than the rotation of the earth since its since its formation the tidal power is taken from the earth's oceanic tide the tidal forces are periodic variations in gravitational attraction exerted by celestial bodies these forces create corresponding motions are currents in the world's ocean due to the strong attraction to the ocean a bulge of bulge in the water level is created causing temporary increase in the sea level when the sea level is raised water from the middle of the ocean is forced to move towards the shorelines creating a tide in an unfailing manner due to the consistent pattern of the moon's orbit around the earth coming to the designing and the working of the tidal and the wave power generation of the tidal and the wave power is this one the generation of electricity using the tide power is basically the conversion of the tidal power found in the tidal motion of the water in the seas and the ocean into electrical energy that means whatever the energy which is generated during the process of the tides in the ocean it is to be converted into the electrical energy and this is done using a very basic idea involving the use of the barrage or the small dam built at the entrance of the bay where the tides are known to reach very high levels of variation this barrage will trap the tidal water behind it creating a difference in the water level this creates a potential energy that means water is stored in the bay which creates the potential energy when the gates of the barrage are open during the process of storing the bay is closed here the barrage is closed <coughs> after storing some at the certain limit of the water the barrage will be trap the tidal water behind it creating a difference in the water level this create the potential energy la when the gates of the barrage are opened and water rushes from the high level to low level this creates the kinetic energy this kinetic energy is used to rotate the turbine 
which converts the tidal energy into electrical energy. This tidal power is generated in four methods. This is one of the method, what I discussed now. Tidal steam generators are there, tidal barrage methods are there, dynamic tidal power methods are there, tidal lagoons are there. Coming to the tidal motion and the effect on the sea level, Tidal movements in the sea are due to the increase of water level at certain areas in the globe and the decrease of water level at other areas. This is basically due to two factors. I already discussed that is the gravitational force between the sun, moon and the earth and the rotation of the moon and the earth. As there are gravitational forces between the moon and the earth, seas of the ocean water is pulled away from the earth towards the moon at the area where the moon and the earth are in front of each other. At the opposite side of the earth, the water is being pushed away from the earth due to centrifugal forces. Thus, there are two areas where the water level are high and other areas where the water level is low. Thus, the tidal motion of the water is created and this is called lunar tide. Coming to the advantages of the tidal power generation, the tidal power is a Renewable resources, it reduces the dependence upon the fossil fuel, it produces low pollution, it has a little visual impact, and construction of large scale offshore devices results in the new areas of sheltered water attractive for fish, seabirds, seas, and sea weeds. And tidal lagoons are also constructed to generate the power. These tidal lagoons, it is a newer tidal energy design. And it is used to construct the circular retaining walls embedded with the turbine that can capture the potential energy of tides. The reservoirs similar to tidal barrage are created, which is called the lagoon, which can be a double format without pumping and with pumping that will pattern out the power output. Solar energy or the wind energy is used for pumping. And the tidal power exists on the worldwide scale from the ocean deep water. So these are the advantages of the tidal power. Next, coming to the disadvantages, at present, both the tidal and the wave energy is suffering from orientation problem. That is, it is not economical. Tidal power system do not generate the electricity at a steady rate. And thus, it is not necessarily at the time of peak demand. Tidal fences could found some difficulty to migrating fish. So these are the advantages of the disadvantages of the tidal and the wave power.
So in the next lecture, I'll explain about the ocean thermal energy. Thank you.